Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield have kept a united front after being falsely accused of jumping the queue to see the Queen's coffin at Westminster Hall. The presenting duo hit back at the claims, insisting that they were there in a professional capacity and were reporting on the event for the millions of people in the UK who were unable to visit. Addressing the backlash on Tuesday's programme, a sombre-looking Holly and Phil proved how strong their friendship is. Fans have also noticed the pair but this isn't the first time that the pair have stuck by each other through tough times. In February 2020, Phil came out as gay and was met by floods of support from his family, fans and of course, Holly. On his Instagram stories, Philip told followers, You never know what's going on in someone's seemingly perfect life, what issues they are struggling with, or the state of their well-being, and so you won't know what has been consuming me for the last few years. With the strength and support of my wife and daughters, I have been coming to terms with the fact that I am gay. My friends are the best, especially Holly, who has been so kind and wise, and who has hugged me as I sobbed on her shoulder," he added. Best pal Holly immediately jumped on the app and shared a photo of her and Philip with the caption, Never been more proud of my friend than I am today. We'll be together at 10 a.m. on this morning. Holly joined Phil on this morning after Fern Britton stepped down from the show after a decade at the helm in March 2009. Phil said that Holly was at the top of everybody's list to pick up where Fern leaves off and was number one choice, however there were whispers that actually he was the main person pushing for Holly to get the gig. Holly was also hit with cruel comments that she only got the job because of Philip, with trolls claiming she would be unable to interview a prime minister. Speaking to Elizabeth Day on her How to Fail podcast, she said, If it wasn't for Phil, I wouldn't be on this morning now because everyone around him at the time when he suggested my name, were like, What? No. She might be alright in the fashion bit but there's no way she could interview the Prime Minister. During a special episode of Lorraine earlier this year, which celebrated Phil's 40 years in the TV industry, Holly gushed over her co-host. She said how grateful she was that he helped her to secure the job on this morning. I thank you every day because I know really you were on your own with that school of thought. It was down to you kind of standing by that that I got that job without a doubt. Without you there is no way I would be doing this morning today. The pair's unwavering support for one another has been so strong since the first day that they appeared on screen together 13 years ago. A very nervous Holly clung to Philip's arm as the cameras went live. Philip then joked about leaving Holly to present her first show on her own, before pretending to storm off the set. Holly admitted that she was scared about working with Philip, who was such a big name in the industry. But later she discovered that they were a TV match made in heaven. I love that man. It obviously watched him on the tally lots, he was in the broom cupboard. He was my children's TV presenter that I used to watch, she once told the Jonathan Ross show. I was a bit scared when I first met him but that changed very quickly when I realized he was basically me in the male form, she said. Holly, who has young children, also said how Philip is her first port of call when it comes to struggles with juggling her home life and career. We spend quite a lot of time together and quite often you'd come in in the morning and I wouldn't have slept properly because of the kids or something and has my first port of call to talk to, really. The feeling is mutual for Philip, who also openly declared his love for his TV wife. Holly is incredibly sympathetic, he said. 
she's the best person to tell secrets to. She's got a brilliant ability to see sense through mess. She's also more diplomatic than I am. If we disagree on something, which is rare, we very quickly see the other person's point of view. And we don't have egos between the pair of us, Therese none of that nonsense. Holly and Philip's families have become close friends, and even enjoyed a trip to Portugal together. ITV are said to be rallying around the hosts after the relentless trolling from furious viewers after footage of them walking past the queues to see the Queen's coffin came out. A TV source said, the abuse has been nothing short of disgusting, not least as they have done nothing wrong and were fully entitled to media accreditation so they could inform their viewers. There is huge, real and serious concerns over their well-being and ITV are fully supporting them behind the scenes in the face of such relentless trolling. The channel backs them 110%. Holly also addressed the criticism as they played a VT of the Queen when she was lying in state. In the voiceover she was heard saying, like hundreds of accredited broadcasters and journalists, we were given official permission to access the hall. It was strictly for the purpose of reporting on the event for millions of people in the UK who haven't been able to visit Westminster in person. The rules were that we would be quickly escorted around the edges to a platform at the back. In contrast, those paying respects walked along a carpeted area beside the coffin and were given time to pause. She continued, none of the broadcasters and journalists there took anyone's place in the queue and no one filed past the Queen. We, of course, respected those rules. However, we realize that it may have looked like something else and therefore totally understand the reaction. But fans weren't impressed, they called it a non-apology and a petition demanding the pair to be axed from the show gathered over 37,000 signatures. Do you enjoy reading about celebrities? Sign up for all the best celeb news from the mirror here. Sympathetic fans noticed that Holly wasn't her usual self during the most recent show, with some showing real concern for the presenter. Is Holly okay? She's not looking herself? Hashtag this morning, one viewer wrote. Looks like she's been crying all night, said another. I feel like Holly is faking her happiness today hashtag this morning, a third chimed. She also hasn't been sharing her daily outfit snaps on Instagram, which she usually captions HW style. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at Web Celebs at Mirror. Co.2Core or call us direct 0207 29